everyone this is Sultan with WP Funnels and in this video I'm going to show you how you can customize your checkout page fills uh, for your sales funnels in WP Funnels. So let's begin. WP Funnels comes with a checkout fill editor which allows you to decide what fills you want to view in your checkout page or if you want to add any extra fills uh, within your checkout page all right so that you can make a personalized checkout form uh, for your sales funnel okay and I'm going to show you how you can use that today. Now, here you can see I'm on the WP Funnels overview page and uh, I have a funnel created. So let me just edit that funnel. And there you go. It took me to the drag and drop canvas and I have a four step funnel, the landing, the checkout, upsell and thank you. Now, today we'll be focused on the checkout page. So let me select the checkout step and uh, let me preview this and show you how this looks right now. So there you go. This is how my checkout page looks like. This is the data I'm taking. This is basically all the data you normally take in e-commerce, right? So let me go back to the funnel. Let me go to the configure uh, icon and go to the settings drawer. And here you can see I've added a product which is being offered in my checkout in this funnel. Now, let me go to this tab called the edit fields. If you click on this, it's going to take you to this window. Now here you can see that you have option to customize the fields you have in your checkout. Now the checkout has three sections, the billing section, the shipping sections and additional fields. So these are the areas where you can decide what fields to show, what fields not to show, if you want to add an extra field or not. So let me just show it to you. Let me just, you know, uh, disable the last name field. Okay. So this means that this field is no longer visible and let me just uh, save this okay now in the uh, checkout page of my funnel let me just reload this page and you can see that now it just has first name the last name is no longer there okay let me go back to my funnel uh, let me just enable that again uh, let's say uh, if I go to the additional field section uh, I don't want to keep order comments okay so by that what I mean is this part okay it says order notes okay so I don't want to show that so let me just remove that and save this and let me just reload this page and you can see now uh, there is no field for that okay so now let me go back and let's say I'm gonna enable this one again uh, now in the billing field let's say I want to add an additional field all right I'm gonna add let's say reference so I want to know where he got the reference from, right? So I'm just going to use that as the label as well. And the placeholder, let us know who referred you, referred you. You know, using a random field here, all right? So I'm just don't worry about this. Normally you don't ask that in the checkout. So, so by default, I can add a value if I want to. I can add a validation if I want to. I don't need that here and this shouldn't be required so i'm just going to save this okay and cross this out if i scroll down you can see this has been added here okay so now uh if i save additional changes and reload the checkout page and then scroll down and right below the billing section you can see there's this field called reference now i can give reference to who referred me Okay, so that's how easily you can, you know, add custom fields uh, to your uh, checkout form. You can remove certain fields from your checkout form. Uh, you can, you know, configure the custom fields, validation, uh, the text, the title. You can even change the uh, labels of the in, uh, existing field. Let's say for the last name, you want to change that to surname. So I'll just change it to surname and update it. And now if you cross this out, scroll down and save additional changes and let's say reload this. And now you can see instead of last name, it's telling me surname. Okay. So that's how easy it is to use this uh, built-in checkout field editor of WP Funnels to, you know, customize your checkout form fields, whichever fields you want to view, whichever you don't want to view. If you need extra details, you can do all that using this uh, built-in checkout fill editor in WP Funnels and the best part is this is applicable to specific funnels so if you have four funnels for each of them you can use different types of 
uh, settings for the checkout field editor. So if you have a downloadable product, maybe you don't want to add all those extra billing details. Uh, and uh, for another product, you need a completely different types of details. So you can have different checkout forms for different types of funnel, all right? So yeah, that's how easy it is to use the built-in checkout field editor from WB Funnels. Uh, and uh, there are more controls in the checkout. Obviously, you can change the designs, the layouts of the checkout, which I'll be showing you in separate videos, all right? So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my future videos. Take care.